So here we go. Walls, bees, DPS. DPS is necessary, but we'll go over the interesting parts. Alright, what's the chat saying? Do you like DD2 1 or DD2 better? I personally I like DD2 better. Uh, I mean, DD2 D1 was a lot of fun, but I didn't get the chance to play it as much during like its prime. Because I was in university. Um, but I think uh, DD2 has a lot of potential with tower combos and stuff and all that. Needs just needs a bit of polishing. But I've, I mean, I've put a ton of hours into this game, like... 10 times that I put into DD1, so it's not really a fair f <laughs> in terms of that. Oh, there's this thing that pops up on the top right of your stream that says enjoying the stream. Press the follow button, wow, so you're saying you're not following me. Freaking my own mod doesn't follow me, what a jerk. This map? It's in my back pocket. This map is in the skies above Etheria, isn't it? Uh, this is um, Harbinger's Warship defense map, bottom of the list. I'm not quite sure if that answers your question, but I think that's as best as I can do with the information you gave me. Alter big boy DPS only? That's interesting. Um, Actually, that's an interesting idea, like picking the kind of DPS I play as. Though when I do theme builds, I often do play as like a specific DPS. get that going. So here we go, basically one tree, upgraded it twice for range, and then I just spread out bees. Punch here, here. This is what I need to protect the core. You can probably get away with less, but they're also going to help out when he's in this phase 4. And then we've got some here for when he's on this side. Punch here. Next wave, I'm going to grab mana, fill out the rest of my DU on bees along here to help out up top and down below. So. You'll see it here. The great thing about this build is the bees don't actually hit the cannons, so you don't have to worry about them blowing up prematurely. So what you do is you star fall out a couple times, it blows up, and you just get a free chunk of damage on them. And you probably all know the um, cannon thing already. But just the fact that you got these big AoE defenses that aren't going to proc it early on yourself is pretty helpful. Then, you know, if you corrupt form dryad, you're gonna get extra bees. It goes by pretty fast if you got some decent damage. Really fast if you uh, blow up the cannon on him when he's shooting. You don't understand DD2. I think um, if you play the campaign, it's pretty good at teaching you and like giving you the ins and outs and explaining the system now. How it works. Like, just watching and stuff, you might be confused, but like, if you go through the campaign, it's not particularly long. You should get a good grasp on it. Big Boy EV2 is my favorite way to DPS EV2. I don't really like Proton Cannon. Go. One, two. I'm just gonna punch him to keep my crop form going, get my star inventory back. I'm not going to worry about using my star falls. He'll die soon enough to bees. Unless he gets slightly out of the range. Where prize will tickets for carnival? I'm sorry. Were? Um I don't know what you're asking, but for people who don't know, you should definitely hold on to those. The carnival they said will be coming back someday. So it's a good idea to hold on to those. Alright, let's get this guy on the cannon. There we go. Drop those so they're actually hitting him a bit too. Awesome. In the final phase, now we've got all these bees here. Those ones up there might hit him as well. well you can see the overlaps, right? Like, he spawns here. He's going to be in the range of all these nests. Two bees per nest when I make corrupt form hitting him. Like, he's not gonna last at all. Don't even need a cannon to take him down. Let's lich him as well, just for the added bonus.
And there you go. There's the uh, bee build. Bee swarm on Harbinger. Not bad at all. So I've got a bit of tree range on my tree. I don't think you really need it. Um, it looks like it's kind of like if you don't have the range spheres on it and range stat, you might just. I mean, you can just put the tree further down the ramp. You don't need it as far ahead as I have it here. See, like the heal aura goes all the way out there. It's not necessary. <laughs> 